Autophagy is a process in which our cells break down parts of themselves and then reuse those resulting macromolecules to keep essential processes going. Almost every month, there's a new connection being discovered between autophagy and some aspect of human health and disease. And as with anything, including furniture, parts of the cell wear out. They get used and they get to a point where they're no longer functional. And what normally happens is the cell will get rid of it and a new one will be made. And we don't think as much about the backside, which is what do you do with it when it's no longer working? The women come in with red spike heels. There are four small black chairs that they carry in to surround Kula at the center and they kind of entrap him with those four chairs. So call me the ringmaster. Um, I choreographed the movement for the dancers. A red flag went up and I thought, no, I don't want to choreograph illustrations of a process. I don't want to mimic. I don't want to be expected to have dancers mimicking what cells do. I want to have poetic license. I want to stretch this a bit and figure out how scientists think. I came up with the gestures for the digestion part first because that was the section that has um, a lot of activity within the cell itself. So I thought, well, maybe I can translate that to music and have a lot of movement and clashing sonorities in the music uh, to match up with what's going on in the scientific process. It felt more intense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah more intense. More dramatic. More dramatic. Yeah. As someone who's a neuroscience major, this is something very different than anything I've ever seen or, uh, in class. So it was an interesting perspective. Any way that we can do to make this complex material accessible is going to help and if we can make it entertaining it'll be even more help and hopefully if they get captured by this then maybe they'll go and look for for additional information and start them on a path towards towards learning i asked myself well what do i want people to really come away with and more and more i decided it's not a lot of facts it's not a lot of details I would consider myself a visual learner, so I did really like watching it like happen, especially with the explanations of Dr. Kleonsky. I think it would be most helpful in a teaching environment for non-science uh, students or like people that aren't really uh, well-versed in science. Partly based on my own experiences and reading the literature, I decided that lecturing was actually not the best way to get students to learn. That was also my goal partly because of teaching introductory biology, to come up with ways to make the subject more understandable and partly fun for, for other people, non-scientists, non non-specialists. Even though I was working with something scientific and very totally out of my realm in terms of what I know, I was still able to identify human elements with their cellular function. For me as a learner, like, any time I can connect to something abstract on like a more concrete level, um, I ha it's better in like for understanding. Of the chairs, that's good, very good. <laughs>